I'll uh, discuss about something called as scope chaining. Or scope chaining, you can say. Okay. Scope chain or scope chaining. Okay. What does that particular uh, scope chaining or scope chain mean? Can Can you guys just make a wild guess on your own and try to tell me what could be the possible uh, definition for this at a very generic level? All right. No worries. I will tell you what is uh, scope chain or scope chaining. So what happens is any programming language is uh, tend to behave in some similar fashion. Okay. What is that particular fashion I'm talking about related to the scopes? I'll give you an example and then I'll explain with that. Let's say I declared a where. Let's say name. Okay. Now I declared a function. I try to do so in this particular case what is happening is I'm trying to declare a variable outside the function right and I'm trying to access that variable inside the function correct this is the basic syntax which I have written in front of you guys right it's pretty clear right what I've written over here so what happens is in terms of the scope chaining, so what does the scope chaining mean? Let's say the program comes to this particular line number 136 and it finds that, okay, console.log name. Now, what is name? It doesn't know, right? What it will do is it will try to get the variable uh, called as name in that particular scope. So it will look into the functional scope first. Is there any variable created as name in the functional scope? Yes or no? It will say no because I have no, I haven't declared any variable inside it, right? Now what it will do is it will go into the immediate parent uh, scope. Now it will say, is there any variable created inside the uh, uh, parent of this particular function? In this case, yes, it is created. So what is the value of it? Ten. Let's print that ten in this. So this is called as scope chaining. So it will look for the immediate scope, then it will go to the parent scope and then so on till the global scope. Okay. Let's say in this case, I could have created another function called as parent. And I could have, let's say, uh, created an inner function in this case, right? So it, what it will do is it will go into the immediate, I mean, in this particular function scope, then the parent scope. And then in the global scope, if not found in this scope as well. Right? So this is how the scope chaining works. It is very basic. You, everyone knows about it, but you also know, need to know what is the uh, name given to this particular concept. Okay. So I'll remove this. I'll keep it simple for you guys. Let's try to execute it. Will this work or not? Let's see that as well. I'll clear this. So if I try to call print value function, I'm able to get the value, right? So because of the concept of scope chaining. All right. Is it clear? Everyone? All right. Cool. There could be other examples which I just uh, explained you in this. All right. So what happens is, uh, as I told, right, something, so I use some keyword called as global execution context, right? So what happens is any variable, uh, if let's say it is declared inside a functional scope, right? So what it will do is it will try to look into that functional execution context. Is there any variable called as a uh, name in that? Then it will go into the parent uh, execution context. And if not, then it will go into the global execution context. And if the variables are found in that, it will be able to print those values. Okay. Am I clear on this? 